welcome friends in this session we will discuss about the step protection in case of distance protection of transmission line actually this step protection falls under the ancillary functions of distance protection in the last session we have already discussed about two of the most important or two of the frequently used bus switching schemes inside the substation that is one and half breakage scheme and double main in transfer schemes during those uh, discussions we have come across two different things that in dmt schemes even though your 18l isolator is open feeder will remain in service through transfer bus bar and the cvt input will be available to distance protection relay however in case of one and half breaker scheme when 18l isolator is open that means your feeder is out of service and distance protection relay doesn't receive any input from cvt so in this case of one and half breaker scheme and double main and transfer scheme because of this 89l isolator status and because of this cvt input there are two different types of treatment of protection system and these different types of treatment of protection system enables a new protection philosophy which is step protection so now if you see here this is the one and half breaker scheme which i have already explained in the last session towards the last couple of minutes if you see it here now this is the three breakers which is connecting to two buses and two feeders are emanating from two of the main bays one from here and another another from here and we, our focus is on this first feeder now if you see here this greater than z means the distance protection now the cvt input is connected to the distance protection relay and the cvt input or the cvt as you can see clearly is placed after this line isolator towards the line side the another input to distance protection relay is through this current transformer main bay and tie bay parallel together and then it is connected to the distance protection relay now when 89l isolator is open or line isolator is open in that case definitely the cvt voltage will not reach up to this distance protection relay and once the cvt voltage is not available that means the calculation of z which is vyi will not be carried out by distance protection relay or the chances of distance protection relay mal operation is very high but if you see it the 18l isolator if it is open that means now is that this feeder is definitely out of service because when you have uh, taken this 18l isolator open that means the feeder is now not in service if this feeder is not in service so why then you require any protection over here the reason for a protection over here is that even though this feeder is not in service if you have closed this dia that means if you have closed these three circuit breakers this this and this that means now you have a portion uh, between these two ct whenever there is a fault between these two ct you have to isolate this fault also now to isolate this fault you need a protection system but what protection you are using you are using the distance protection and that distance protection is already out of service because you are missing cvt input so now this portion becomes unprotected to protect this section you need a protection system which doesn't depends upon voltage and which will perform this uh, isolation of faults immediately now the only possible methods available to us is over current protection to protect this portion of the network so the step protection is basically uh, an over current protection which is enabled only after your 89l or line isolator is in open condition so that is the same thing which is written over here it is not possible for the distance protection relay to measure impedance when the line disconnector is open not to risk incorrect operation the distance protection must be blocked and step protection is released 
the step protection is a simple current relay what is the meaning of simple current relay here is the simple current means the step protection which is used in case the at an electrode is open is a simple time delayed over current protection relay now this uh, step protection if you see over here is this is a simple logic when line disconnector is open an an over current based protection is enabled so line disconnector open and i step if both condition is satisfied that's why it is and gate if both condition is satisfied then after an uh, setable time delay of suppose 50 millisecond or 100 millisecond the relay will issue a trip command now this is the one and half breaker scheme which i have already explained in the last session uh, sorry the position of wave trap is not correct this must also be in the line side only so now if you remember from the last session this is your one and half breaker scheme a breaker with isolator on its both side and a ct it's called one bay this is the main bay this is this tie bay and this is the second main bay two feeders one from this side and one from this side is connected now we are focusing only on one feeder this is our line isolator followed by r switch cvt and la so our focus is only up to cvt if you see here this is cvt and after that this is 18 and l isolated and then this cvt input is connected to relay likewise ct input is also connected to relay so now when your 18 and l or line isolator is open in that case your v or the cvt voltage is zero in this relay so now z is equals to vy a i and relay cannot take the decision so distance protection is blocked and if your this dia is closed which i have already explained in the last slide if your dia is closed that means if these isolators and breakers everything is closed so now to protect this section you need a protection system to protect this uh, section you need a protection system and that protection system must be of power current nature only because you cannot employ a uh, distance protection now since your distance relay doesn't have any voltage input so that protection system must be based on power current philosophy only so this 18l open condition and i greater than that means over current protection after a sufficient time delay which is setable uh, and generally it is 100 millisecond it will issue a trip command however in case of dmt scheme if you say over here this is your 89a and 89b isolator which is connected to bus bar 1 and bus bar 2 respectively and then it is connected to breaker after that it is 89l or line isolator which is then uh, now the feeder is connected from here and this feeder can be charged either through this bay or through transfer bay like this and transfer bus is charged in through 89c it is charged now if you see here when your feeder is charged through either main bay in case of main bay this feeder is now charged through this breaker 89a or b and then 89l and your cvt input is available to relay and relay will work properly as per its philosophy or its algorithm of distance protection when this feeder is not charged through main bay but the main bay is now taken out for maintenance and the feeder is charged through transfer bus in that case also when the feeder is charged through transfer bus if you see from here this feeder is charged through transfer bus again the cvt input will be available to relay because the cvt is placed on the line side and its input doesn't depends uh, to the status of 89l isolator so in case of step protection you doesn't need or you need not have any additional over current based protection for the protection of any unprotected zones also if you see here when your feeder is in service through line isolator then all this portion will be covered when your feeder is uh, connected through transfer bus then it is covered and then uh, this uh, distance protection will issue trip command to this breaker and when this feeder is connected through main bay then distance protection will issue trip command to this breaker and how this is done this is basically done through a switch which is called a transfer switch and when your feeder is connected through main bus in that case your distance protection will issue the uh, trip command to main circuit breaker basically distance protection relay will issue a trip command it doesn't issue a trip command to main circuit breaker or transfer circuit breaker but it generally issue a trip command that is whenever it detects a fault on the basis of its algorithm and on the basis of its setting it will issue a trip command once a trip command is issued then uh, you have a switch in between so if your switch is 
position at normal that means that trip command or that tripping dc will be extended to main circuit breaker if that switch is on the transfer mode that means your now the uh, main circuit breaker is out and the tripping of transfer circuit breaker is desired so you have kept the position of uh, switch on transfer mode and the tripping dc will be extended to transfer bus bar or transfer bus cb sorry so in this dmt skip you doesn't need any extra protection however if due to incorrect configuration someone has enabled extra protection in case of dmt scheme then there is a chances of mal operations because if you have enabled the extra protection in dmt scheme then what happens whenever your feeder is out of service or uh, not feeder is out of service whenever your main circuit breaker is out of service and your feeder is charged through transfer bus then your hnl is op open so immediately after transfer of your circuit uh, of your feeder from main bus to uh, to transfer bus your extra protection will get enabled in case of dmt scheme if you have configured the extra protection incorrectly or inadvertently in case of dmt scheme so immediately you, uh, when your feeder is transfer, uh, transferred from main break uh, main breaker to transfer breaker extra protection will be enabled because uh, your 18 and l isolator is now open once extra protection is enabled then there are chances of mal operations because now whenever your current reaches beyond the setting value of extra protection the relay will issue a trip command and it will trip your uh, transfer bus circuit breaker incorrectly which is not desired that's why in case of dmt scheme extra protection is always disabled in case of one and a half breaker scheme extra protection is required to be enabled and this protects the portion between two circuit breaker that is uh, or between two cities which are not covered in any protections apart from distance protection and distance protection is already blocked because of your line isolator open and cvt input missing so i hope these things are clear and in case you want to understand in details what is the bus coupler what is the importance of transfer bus what is the 18nc and 18nl isolator then please watch the last session in which these things are explained in greater details in the last session the trans, uh, transfer operation of that is uh, sup uh, suppose the transfer of this feeder from main breaker to transfer bus is already explained the operation of 89a and 89b even when the feeder is not out of service is already explained that is the importance of bus coupler the everything is explained in the last session itself that's why i am not going into greater details also remember that this dmt scheme will be again discussed during our bus bar protection session because there it is very very important to understand about various bus switching scheme before implementation of bus bar protection scheme so we will keep up to this point only and we will meet again in the next session with some other topic till then keep watching and if you like the content then please share this video with your friends so that they may also get benefited and most of the people or large number of persons may understand these concepts or and implement these protection systems that is the our main focus of starting these sessions so that's all also if you don't like the content then please comment in the comment section so that we can improve upon on the basis of your valuable feedback in the coming sessions or from the next session onwards thank you